Welcome friends, today we're gonna talk about clickbait thumbnails. We're gonna see how they really get them out here in 2024. I'm gonna give you a peek behind the curtain. We're gonna look at some clickbait thumbnails in the wild, but before that, we'll review the textbook tricks of the trade. First, we got the color red. Our attention is just drawn straight to the color red. It's very hard to not immediately look at it whenever it's in view. So we want to see red everything, wherever you can fit it. Like, for example, red text is very provoking. And red circles, or red arrows, but also cross-out signs, and also X's and check marks. This sort of stuff just immediately demands your focus. And when you frame this sort of stuff with a question, with a little bit of intrigue, it becomes very provoking. So the color red is very powerful, but also so is just raising the color saturation. Making all of the colors of the thumbnail really bright, or even just a certain highlighted area makes it really hard to ignore. Overly saturated colors also demands your attention. They really stand out. And it couples nicely with the next two tricks I'm going to show you. First, we got the unrealistic or super exaggerated thing that the video is kind of about, which either doesn't look like the thing that's actually in the video, or isn't even in the video at all. And the other trick is putting a face on the thumbnail, usually with a gasp, shock, horror sort of cartoonish look. You put one or both of these on here together with an overly saturated background, and children just can't help themselves from clicking on that. Next, we got the side-by-side -side trick. You draw a big vertical line down the middle and do like a this or that, or a before and after sort of thing. And the last trick is of course sex appeal. Putting any kind of sex appeal on a thumbnail will instantly garnish attention to it. And it doesn't even have to be like super intense or anything either. Just putting an attractive girl on a thumbnail is enough to get people to look at it. And you can, of course, combine as many of these tricks together as you like, which also increases their effectiveness. Alright, so let's go hunting now. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Now, I would never click on a video like this, but this is like crack for children. We got the super saturation, the unrealistic exaggerated image, and the cartoonish expression. And you'll notice that he's wearing a red shirt too. Very smooth. And this video got 25 million views. That's how you get them. Actually, this guy's entire channel is basically the same style thumbnail. I think this one is really clever. We got the saturation, the unrealistic exaggerated photo, we got some woman's legs here with red shoes, and we got the red circle highlighting Fortnite with some text on the screen. And this video got 45 million views. Children just pop off on this kind of stuff. He's got a lot of these I built secret rooms in my house type videos, and they all have Fortnite in them. I built a secret room in my closet, and we got Fortnite in there. Alright, so these building a ridiculous thing videos are such good bait. And this one has 154 million views. That is absolutely insane. Who is watching this? Are you watching these? If any of you guys watch these, please let me know. I need to go build a ridiculous thing for a video. This title says, Building a private pool in a luxury underground house. None of that is what this video is. That title is just as much bait as the thumbnail is. Private pool, yes. But it's not luxury, nor is it an underground house. And the private pool is not in the house either. It's outside. And these little huts here are exactly what they look like. There aren't any other rooms, and there isn't even plumbing or electricity. Luxury is a pretty good tag though. Putting luxury house in your title probably gets it recommended a lot. It seems like they tag all of their videos with words like million dollar or dream underground house. The thumbnails are just actual pictures of whatever thing they made, but they're all framed in such a way that you think there's more than just what you see in the pic. Like if you watch the video, you're gonna get a tour, but you see absolutely everything in the photo. So if you've seen the thumbnail, then you've also seen the entire video. This video over here has a billion views. I don't think I've ever actually seen a video on YouTube with a billion views before. 
people are actually watching these, like a lot. I also think that the water really helps the thumbnail, and they've added quite a bit of color to this water, which goes back to the saturation idea. I mean the water in this video is green. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna build an underground luxury dream house with a pool that also has secret rooms with Fortnite. All right, we got some good stuff on this screen. We got a nice video with the before and after trick, and we got some conveniently red items in text, and he's also wearing red. And we've also got the cartoonish expressions. And the colors are very vibrant. That blue tray together with the red really pops. A very nice 16 million view video. Right next to this video, we got a gun pointed at a cat with an emoji. Very nice. Emojis work just as effectively as a human face, and are actually better, in fact, if you're not well known. You see, a lot of these small YouTubers are putting their faces on their thumbnails, and I think it hurts more than it helps. Unless you're a girl, because then that actually gets them. But if you're a small channel, emojis are way more effective. Because also, if you're gonna put your face on a thumbnail, you need to be taking a really high-quality photo of yourself. It can't look candid. It can't look like you took it with a webcam or a cell phone. But anyway, this cat thumbnail is pretty great. The gun also adds a shock value in the same way that the unrealistic and exaggerated photos do, which is also what we have right next to this cat video. We got some crazy looking pencils here, together with super saturated colors and a before and after thing, and we also got X's and check marks. Very nice. And that video is three hours long. The title for this video is All Tags and Bait. Level up your art skills. Simple tutorial for beginners. How to draw a portrait by one, two, three. It doesn't even all fit there. But I highly doubt that the crazy looking pencils shown in the thumbnail are even actually used in the video. It's just meant to give the shock value of some overly exaggerated thing. And right below that, we got a Mr. Beast video. And of course we got the face. And then we got the red circle and the red arrow pointing at the red circle. Mr. Beast usually has super clickbait thumbnails, but I'm disappointed in this one. The floor should have been a super saturated color. It should have been like bright blue or something. And he's wearing a black shirt. This one gets the job done, but he usually goes way harder in his thumbnails. We also have another one of those build a ridiculous thing videos here. Full build, build beach pool, three-story resort bamboo house, fly over water slide. Reading the title of these videos is like reading the poorly translated text in those Chinese bootleg games. This one here is really clever. This is an exaggerated photo of a thing that they kind of make in the video. They do make a little canon thing, but it's not like this. The thumbnail is just pure shock value, but it's also got some super saturated colors. And this picture looks like it's outside or something, but the whole video actually takes place in this dark room. 88 million views, that's impressive. How about escaping 100 layers of cardboard? We're trapped. We got the face, we got the red shirt, we got the colors, and the chainsaw adds a nice shock value. 85 million views. You know, I hear a lot of people say that YouTube is getting old and that kids aren't on here anymore, but I beg to differ. I think kids are everything on YouTube. I'm in the wrong market. I need to start a second channel that makes videos for overstimulated nine-year-olds. This one's not bad. Kid pulls fire alarm to get out of test. We got the red fire alarm with an arrow pointing to it, and we got two faces and a random red splotch in the corner. It would be better if he wore a red shirt, or at least some other brightly colored shirt, and that gray wall should be like bright blue or something. It's not bad, but it could be a lot better. The hamster videos all have very efficient thumbnails. We got the bright colors, and we also have that signature arrow, and the little scenes that they make for these hamsters are always really extravagant. Also, having an animal in the thumbnail is very appealing. I mean, obviously if you're going to try to sell an animal video, you need to put that animal in the thumbnail. But the hamster thumbnails are excellent. Okay, so the Village Cooking Channel got it figured out, like for real. 
Every one of these is just absolutely ridiculous. We got the shock factor, we got the saturated colors, but also they're all wearing brightly colored headbands, and they're also all doing these cartoonish expressions. It's a really good combination. And every one of these videos has millions of views. Village Cooking Channel goes hard. Okay, so I'm sure everyone has seen at least one of these type of thumbnails before. They're all basically the same. It's very formulaic. Putting your expression over a red box is a really good way to fit that color in there. You also see the red arrows and bright colors, and every one of these is trying to display some kind of shock value. This is the sort of stuff that is prolific with clickbait videos. Very optimized, very efficient thumbnails. Now this guy is another really well-known clickbait YouTuber. And just looking right off the top, the majority of these thumbnails are all sex appeal. The little heart emojis help to add some red color as well. And we've got a bit of bright colors, but not really. These thumbnails are mostly dark. I think it complements the shock value to have really dark backgrounds. And I'm pretty sure people watch this channel for the plot. It really looks like there's a developing narrative here. So the food theory thumbnails are also pretty much all shock value. And they also tend to have these really dark backgrounds. They've also got some nice colors on a lot of the objects in the foreground. So I think that gives it a nice contrast. It's sort of a way to get both of those effects together at the same time. We also see lots of arrows. This one has a circle featuring a zoom in. We've also got a few faces, but they don't really use a face in most of their thumbnails here. I never knew food theory was so dramatic. Like, parental discretion is advised for food theory. Alright, here we are on one of those cryptid channels. These are like the best clickbait. And again, we see mostly dark thumbnails, as it helps the shock factor. But also, like every one of these features a red arrow. You'll also see the circle on a lot of these as well. Here are some more where we can also see the circle and the arrow together, and some of them even have a close-up face as well. These thumbnails really hit the mark. I think it's a really good sell. This is excellent clickbait. This is a Minecraft channel that gets about a million views or so on each video, and like, basically every thumbnail is the before and after thing. I find it really amusing that children still watch Minecraft videos like this. I've also seen a lot of children play this game, and they don't even actually play through the game at all. They just like to make stuff in creative mode. Which is cool, you know, it's fun to make stuff. You know, it's fun to express yourself. And it's kind of like playing with Legos. I get it. But I also think that children are largely playing this game while pretending to be a streamer. Making all of this stuff in creative mode that no one else will ever see. So here's a channel that covers that other game that all the kids are up in these days. And as you can see, all of this is clickbait. Just pure clickbait. Arrows and faces everywhere. But the bright colors of Fortnite's stylized graphics are also just naturally great clickbait. Alright, here we have a Pokemon card channel. All of this is clickbait. Lots of shock factor, lots of cartoon faces, arrows everywhere. The question marks are really good. I didn't talk about question marks. I completely forgot about the good old question mark. The bright colors are really good. A lot of red boxes with text in them. That's a really good way to get the color red on there without actually having to use red text by just highlighting the text with a red box. Excellent choice. We even have these, like, Windows XP landscape backgrounds. That's a good way to get saturated colors in the background. This one with the forklift is really good. Pokemon card challenges. That's good. Calling something a challenge is such a good way to spin any arbitrary idea into content. If you call something a challenge, then it sounds a lot more official. Like, it's not something that you just made up for content. I remember when the challenge fad started, like the ice bucket challenge. It's not impressive to pour water on yourself. It's not really a challenge if anyone can do it. It's not an accomplishment. But everyone's doing it like a bad viral dance, and we can make content out of this. All right, one more. Okay, this is some real clickbait. We got girls in compromising positions pumping water out of a lake to catch fish. They just keep making the same video over and over again, too. 
and people keep watching it. It's so stupid and hilarious that I get it if this was a one-time video that did really well, but it's like they're just pumping these videos out, and people keep watching them. Some of these videos are three and four hours long. It must be the fish. Some people just really like to see fish. The clickbait on YouTube has evolved quite a lot over the years, and I think it still works. Pretty much all the tricks that worked back in the early days still work now, but I don't really watch any of this sort of content. Usually, if I see a circle or an arrow in a video thumbnail, then I'm probably not going to even read the title. But I'm also just not interested in shock value content. Something that may or may not be good for the site is that now, brand new fresh accounts don't get recommended videos until after they've started searching for stuff. So you're at least only going to see targeted clickbait. It also seems like to me that only certain genres of videos do well with clickbait anymore. Depending on the nature of the content, just having a really high quality image will do way better than trying to fill up the thumbnail with red circles and arrows. That stuff does work really well on children, and it also works really well on broad audiences, so maybe I'm missing out by not baiting hard enough. But I also feel like the people who come to this channel don't really engage with that sort of content either. But what do you think? <laughs>